What is easy for the surgeon can be hard on the patient. A big cut can create a fair amount of pain for the patient. And so a question arose in my mind, is there anything we can do to minimize the pain for the patient and to help the patient recover better? We want to help our patients to not only recover, but to recover as quickly and as painlessly as possible. I am a thoracic surgeon from NUHCS, specializing in lung surgery. Thoracic surgery involves the surgical management of diseases affecting organs inside the chest, especially the lungs. We carry out more than 400 lung surgeries in NUHCS every year. Many of our patients are elderly in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s, and they are at high risk for lung surgery. If we are able to do minimally invasive lung surgery, to be less trauma for the patient. Most of the time, lung surgeons are trained to do open surgeries where they would require a bigger cut to accomplish the surgery. While there are minimal invasive surgery techniques, many surgeons will still require three to four cuts in order to accomplish what they need to do. But, what if we can perform the surgery with a single three centimeter small cut? What would that mean to our patients? Single incision keyhole surgery, also known as UVATS, was developed and first performed in Singapore in 2009 at NUHCS. We were the first in Singapore to do this. A single small cut is made on the chest, about two to three centimeters. A small telescope is then placed into the incision, and we can see everything very magnified on a video monitor. We'll then perform the surgery using minimally invasive instruments that are small and thin, which are chopstick-like. and then we'll stitch up the wound, leaving behind just a very small scar with less pain and faster recovery for the patient. And so since this was developed in 2009, all our thoracic surgeons in NUXCS are now trained in the single incision thoracic surgery technique, making us the only center in Singapore with a full team of experienced UVATS thoracic surgeons. Over the years, thousands of patients have benefited from new vets. And while it's still a good procedure, it is important to select the right procedure for the patients, whether it's UVATs or open techniques. Recovery is very important, but most importantly, we want the patient to have a good and safe operation. We want to continue innovating, to push boundaries, to make a difference, and ultimately, to help our patients.